Hi, my name is Evan Saftia, Director of Product Marketing here at Cato Networks. In this demo, we're going to see how to use two Socket X1500s to accomplish high availability. Now, some vendors may make you buy multiple appliances or configure complex scenarios using things like ECMP load balancing in order to accomplish high availability. With Cato, it's very simple. It only takes a few minutes using these inexpensive sockets. Let's get started. So now in our management console, we can see that we already have a Houston location configured. This site is up and running and connected to the Houston POP using one of our Socket X1500 devices. Now I've already connected the new socket to both LAN, WAN, and power. Because of this, we have a notification here that says we need to activate a new socket. We're going to go ahead and accept this notification, and we're going to assign this socket to our Houston site along with the other socket. So as you can see, the site was assigned successfully. So now when a site has two sockets assigned, the system automatically puts them into an HA pair. Let's wait a few minutes, and then we'll check back on our HA connection status. So it's been about five minutes and we're back. If we click on our, our Houston site, we can see that both sockets are now attached and connected to the Houston pop. If we wanna see a little bit more detail, we can hop over to assets, click on our Houston site, and we can see that our site is connected and HA is ready. If we wanna see even more detail, we can go ahead and take a look at our socket specifically by clicking site settings and then socket. So as you can see, both sockets are connected uh, they're connected to each other for HA, and you are good to go. So with minimal effort and you know no complex configurations, we're able to deploy our second socket to our Houston site and establish an HA pair all in under five minutes. So now that we have high availability up and running, let's take a look at what would happen if one of our internet connections went down, or if you know for some reason the socket failed or became unplugged. In addition to the screen capture, I've set up this camera view so you can tell we're not playing any tricks on you. First, we'll go to 888.com so you can see that our endpoint is connected through the Cato service and applying policy. As you can see, we get our warning page. Next, I'm going to open up a YouTube video to play as we disconnect the socket. I might be a little biased, but I think this Vitesco case study featuring our CMO, Ashai, is really a great video. So we'll go ahead and put that up. Now that the video is up and running, Let's go ahead and disconnect our primary socket. For good measure, I'm going to unplug both network cables and the power cable and set the socket aside. So that the socket is completely disconnected. As you can see, the video kept playing, it didn't rebuffer, and it didn't have any connectivity issues at all. Now you might be thinking, Sure, the video kept playing, but are you still secured through the Cato service? I'm going to go ahead and go back to um, our web browser and go to casino.org this time so you can see the policies are still being applied. So we tried casino.org. Once again, we got our warning page. So obviously, we're connected to the Cato service with policies being applied. Now let's switch back to our management console so you can see what it looks like over there. Back in the Cato Management Console, we can click on our Houston site and get some information. We can see that the secondary socket is the one providing the connectivity to the Cato SASE cloud. If we want more detail, we can click on Network, Sites, and click on our Houston site. The HA status is currently not ready, and the master is the secondary socket because the primary is offline. If we want to see even more detail, we can click Site Settings, Sockets, and see the details about our specific sockets. As you see, once again, the secondary socket is acting as the connection as the primary is offline. So thank you for watching this demo on high availability using Cato sockets. Hope you enjoyed it.